it seems like only moments ago that I made my video about the moon ball. And in that video, I failed to mention, well, I forgot, about an article that I read some years ago. And if I'm saying this name wrong, well, you can correct me in the comments. That's fine. I don't know how you would pronounce it. Anyway, the article was in Runner's World magazine, and the title was Train Like the Terumara. All right? Now, I may not know exactly how to pronounce it, but uh, it's spelled T-A-R-A-H-U-M-A-R-A. -A -A. Um, it's a tribe in northwest Mexico, and their sport revolves around a ball. Okay? Um, why is that significant? Because maybe I was inspired subconsciously or something, but eh, no, not really. Years ago, I remember in college, somebody had this gigantic ball, right? It was like um, an inflatable ball. And we're out there, and I said, hey guys, let's just go play ball. Let's play ball. And we went out there, and there were no rules. It was just ball. And suddenly, we attracted people from all over. Just people started coming to us in the quad and playing ball. Some people decided to throw it in the air. Some people kicked it. Some people ran with it. It was just like, you know, or kids again. Because guess what? Kids are way, way more in shape than most adults. Let's face facts. When they want to go somewhere, they run. They climb. They do things that if you tried to do them today, you'd be <sighs> realizing just how hard it is. And anyway, these guys... The Terumara, it was written from a guy who began training like them. And they can run extremely long distances without much effort. Okay? Um, the article talks about him going to this place. You know, these runners, they're always getting these injuries, right? Um, oh, I rolled my ankle. Oh, you know, I need these special shoes in order to run properly. Um... And this kind of it makes it sort of a, I don't know, a tenuous sport that um, can be kind of dangerous. All these rules associated with it, you know, checking your heart rate and all these different things. But these guys, what they do, I'm going off of memory. I might have the article in it somewhere, but here's the deal. They like chase a ball for like miles and miles like a hundred miles maybe more than a hundred miles they just would chase it kick it i don't remember but the point is that's what they would do and <laughs> in sport you always read about you know what you should eat in order to be a runner you know make you need to balance this that and the other you know you got your carbs and your protein and all this different stuff man in the article it was like beans they're eating beans. Now, I'm not suggesting that you just eat beans. That's, I would never suggest that, okay? I personally have a, 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 a rounded, balanced diet, which includes meat and, you know, vegetables and fruits and some pie and stuff like that. Anyway, um, but yeah, the guy was talking about how he would just go out and run. And I think the beginning of it started with he was eating like this bowl of beans made by this person at a restaurant or something or whatever. <laughs> he was eating beans. He was learning to be like them in the way that they trained. They use these really, you know, rudimentary sandals. They just, I think they just basically make the sandals. You know, people that train, um, you know, for running, at least in America that I know of, I, there's a store in town. You go and you get these special running shoes and they, you know, they can see how your foot goes down and all this stuff and, you know, uh, lace them a certain way. They wear these, these sandals, man. And they run on rocky terrain. So it gives their, you know, feet a chance to kind of like, you know, move and, and, you know, bend and get stronger just by 
going over this different terrain. And this guy was starting to acquire the same type of strength and endurance that these people did. Okay? And we're talking hundreds of miles. They part participated in um, the Terramaro, participated in some of these distance races. You know, they uh, would do um, marathons and, you know, like these ultra marathons and different things like that. I know that's like, you know, 27 miles, 27.2 or whatever. And then like maybe 50, uh, there's races or like 100. Um, and they weren't doing so well unlike the marathons. I mean, they were doing great, but the answer that was given to, you know, hey, well, how, how'd you feel about that? Like, it wasn't long enough. And another one, you know, they gave this guy some special running shoes. He took them off, you know, in the middle of the race or at some point in the race because he's like, these just aren't comfortable. You know, they don't, they don't feel good to run in. Like I said, they use these rudimentary sandals. The point that I'm getting at is I believe that they were training without really training. You know, it's like, hey, let's get together, some friends, we're just running, we're chasing a ball. <laughs> and I'm really thinking that this is the way to train our bodies. That's what I'm thinking. You know, I, I really am thinking about Continuing this, I, I, I do this type of stuff, you know, I just not consistently. I'll ride a bike, rollerblade, don't do that consistently. You know, I played with the ball today. It was fun. And I really think that training like the Terramara, maybe not just eating all the beans and, you know, I personally am not going to make my own sandals, but I do have sandals. The point is is just getting out there, running, jumping, climbing, like a kid. I mean, these are grown adults. I mean, they're, they're adults, don't get me wrong, but they're training in a way that I think is more fruitful and probably offers more benefit to the body and the mind. So anyway, train like the Terumara. Oh, you, let me know. Let me know. You get out there. How does it make you feel? You know, just running. Not like, hey, I need to get 10 miles in or 2 miles or, oh, I, I need to log such and such by uh, this week or whatever. Get out there. Play. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go frisbee golf. Like I, I got sidetracked this summer. I was planning all these things. Broke my toe getting over it so this was really on my game plan you know as part of my the regimen or whatever I was gonna follow some fun you know run around in the woods whatever I that's that's my that's my thought of the day so anyway try training like the Terramara and uh, get back to me let me know how it's going for you all right thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in another one bye